Ben Norton of Salon did some incredible reporting on a, a new initiative for Israel in Congress. He explains here, the U.S. gives more than $3 billion in unconditional military aid to Israel every single year, more than any other country receives by far. In fact, more than half of U.S. foreign military financing goes to Israel, a country roughly the size of New Jersey. The vast majority of the Senate, however, thinks $3.1 billion per year isn't enough. Isn't that lovely? So he continues here, more than four-fifths of the U.S. Senate signed a letter pressuring President Obama to boost military aid to Israel, Reuters reported Monday. A whopping 83 of the 100 senators signed the letter, including 51 of the 54 Republicans, that's 94%, and 32 of the 44 Democrats, that's 73%. Presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, one of the Senate's two independents, did not sign the letter. The Israeli government wants $4 billion to $4.5 billion, yet some U.S. officials have proposed just $3.7 billion. And finally, he says here, since 1967, the U.S. has given well over $100 billion to Israel in unconditional military aid. And this is not considering other forms of aid, both tangible in the form of trade deals and subsidies and intangible in the form of diplomatic support and scores of unilateral U.S. vetoes of U.N. Security Council resolutions that criticized Israel's illegal activity. Okay, so here we are. We have the Democrats and the Republicans, by and large, agreeing on one thing. Give Israel anything they want. $3 billion a year just given to them by U.S. taxpayers? Not enough. Give, give them more. Okay, let's think about what's happening here in our own country. Oh, I don't know. The fucking water in Flint, Michigan is undrinkable? And it's actually not just there, there's multiple places around the country where, because of fracking, the water is poisoned. We also have uh, roads and, and bridges falling down. I mean, according to the Civil Society of Engineers in their most recent report, the U.S. gets a D. We get a D in terms of our infrastructure. So we have all these problems. We have 45,000 people that die every year because they don't have access to basic medical care. All those issues. And what does Congress do? Oh, I don't know. Let's up our aid to Israel, who are occupying the Palestinians. Give the occupiers an extra billion dollars or so. We give three now. Let's up it. I don't know. Four, maybe 4.5. Because why not? Why not? And I love how one of the reasons that Obama gave when he tried to up the, the aid to Israel is Netanyahu was uh, bitching and moaning and crying because he's such a tough guy, of course. Uh, he was crying about how, oh, I don't like the Iran deal, I feel less safe. Well, hold on now, look at what it fucking says in the Iran deal. You cut off their path to a nuclear weapon. And in return for that, they just get back some of their own money. Their money that we took from them. So here's some of your money, and you promised to never build a nuke, and we have IAEA, International Atomic Ener Energy Agency, uh, inspectors come in and check all the time. So, Obama cuts off their path to a nuke, and then Yahoo says, I feel less safe, give me more weapons and money. No, see, in reality, you're actually more safe, not less safe, so how about we cut your funding? And then the fucking cherry on top to me that I can never get over is that, dude, all you have to do is, is stop vetoing. All you have to do is lift your veto at the UN and say, hey, we're going to cut off your aid Unless and until you do a two-state solution on the 67 borders, all you have to do is that and problem solved in Israel-Palestine. Now, obviously, you're going to have, you know, uh, Hamas won't be happy. Uh, some of Likud, of course, Netanyahu's a Likud, so maybe a lot of Likud, if not all of Likud, won't be happy. The Jewish Home Party, which is to the right of Likud, they certainly won't be happy. Um, but I don't give a fuck about them. How do you like them apples? They're crazy people. Hamas is fucking crazy people. Uh, the Jewish Home Party is fucking crazy people. Uh, so they can piss off. Because we're going to do a two-state deal. We're going to build a giant fucking wall down the middle. Uh, and we're going to get peace there. And that's how we're going to do it. And the majority of people, after a while, are going to say, 
you know what, this was the right way to go. Uh, now there's a, a free and independent Palestine that gets international recognition. Israel still exists and is there, but there's a giant wall, there's protection for both sides. And hey, would you look at that? When adults take adult steps, good things happen. So right now Netanyahu's saying, no, I will never get allow a Palestinian state whenever the Palestinians propose something through the UN like they did recently through Jordan at the UN. He goes, no, I'm rejecting it out of hand and you're anti-Semitic for even considering it. So, okay, if you want to play that game, let's play that fucking game. Three billion dollars, done. I'm not giving you any of it. You're not, three billion dollars, poof, gone. You're not getting it. Why aren't you getting it? You want more for your military and you're fucking occupying people. So I'm not going to facilitate that. I'm not going to do it. So $3 billion, forget it, and now I'm no longer going to veto at the UN, so when they tell you rightfully that your settlements are illegal, guess what, bitch, they're right. That's what's going to happen. So, but naturally, Democrats and Republicans agree on one thing, admittedly a higher number of Republicans, 94% versus 73% of Democrats, that Israel gets whatever the fuck they want. And by the way, I would cut off the funding anyway. <laughs> like, I'm saying it as if I'd hang it over their head and say, okay, um, you know, if you do the right thing, then we'll give you it back. Maybe the most I'd go is, I'm taking it all away, but if you do the right thing, maybe for two more years, I'll give you like a billion instead of three billion. So either two more years of getting some money, or you get none ever. Take your pick. That's what I give them. And also, it's not just Israel. I need everybody to understand that. I cut off funding to Egypt too. Egypt gets over a billion dollars a year in aid from the U.S. government. And by the way, their military viciously cracked down on peaceful protesters recently. Okay, so not giving it to you anymore. I like them apples, you know, and I would untangle our economic relationship with Saudi Arabia for obvious reasons. They're ISIS that made it. They're a Wahhabi terror state. They declare all atheist terrorists. They kill people for sorcery and witchcraft. They're bombing women and children in Yemen. Minimum 50% civilians killed in the casualty count there. They're helping Al-Qaeda in Yemen. Okay, not interested in helping them either, so it's not just Israel, it's a bunch of people, but yes, Israel is one of the big ones, and it's a giant problem, and no, I'm not gonna give you more fucking money, when we can't even get clean water here, and I'm supposed to finance your fucking occupation? Piss off!